Hi, and welcome to Queen Talk with me, Wayne Stafford. As the world slowly opens up after the COVID-19 pandemic, we find that our national title holders can start competing in pageants like Miss Universe, Mrs. World, Miss Global City, Miss Eco International, and Miss Grand International, just to name a few. So stay tuned, I'm about to speak to an international title holder, as well as a national title holder on the world of international pageantry. Welcome back to Queen Talk with me, Wayne Stafford. Now, this month is a very special month as PPMC Magazine celebrates their second birthday. And what a better way to celebrate with two beauty queens. And it gives me great honor and pleasure to introduce to you recently crowned Miss Eco International 2020, Giselle Ace, accompanied by former Miss Regal International South Africa 2019, Tofe Alagoke. Ladies, welcome. Hi. Hi, Giselle. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Tofe. Nice Hi. to see you, my darling. You too. Take a seat, ladies. So, Giselle, congratulations. Thank you. My word, what a great honor. Yeah. Tell me, is this a first win for South Africa? For Miss Eco for International? Eco International. Yes. yes. Yes, this is our first green crown and also Africa as a continent has uh. never brought it up. Yes. Well done. Yes. Tell me, you know, with the whole pandemic, I know, you know, with the international pageants that are opening up, the ladies need to go into quarantine. Mm -hmm. Tell us, what, what do you do? What, what is that about? Egypt luckily has no quarantine period. So you just need a negative COVID test for your flight. And then that is it. You, you can go straight into the country and enjoy it. All right. And tell me, what was your... Most exciting experience of, of Egypt? Oh, wow. Well, obviously, we've seen the pyramids. That's one of the seven world wonders. So that was very, very interesting to see. And I'm a tour guide because I study tourism. So obviously, oh. that's, yeah, oh, yeah. That is so interesting <laughs> for me. But everything about Egypt is so amazing. The people and, oh, the food. I oh, really? the food. <laughs> But uh, mm. everything about it, there's no specific thing that I can say stood out because the whole three weeks were amazing. Sure. Yeah. Now, Tofi, I mean, as a former Miss Regal International, you went abroad to China yes. to compete in this global mm. city. Now, how was it, you know, mixing with the different nationalities and cultures? Wow. Okay. So um, it was an amazing experience. Um, it was really good. I think it's always good to get out of um, your space, South Africa, mm -hmm. and actually go and almost learn and see how different people are, how they act, um, the things that they like. Um, so that was very interesting. It was very interesting to go and to see people. Yeah. Um, I realized we are also different. We are so different. <laughs> <laughs> I think just being in China, um, even just the way they use the toilet, you yeah, know, right. that, was, that was different, the way yeah, they eat, okay. um, the things that, um, the, the masks that they wear all the time. It was very interesting to see the difference um, between South Africa and China. Um, so that was a really good experience. Um, I, would, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, I really enjoyed it. But now tell me, you won Best National Costume. Mm -hmm. Now, for, for someone that's competing internationally, what, what, what advice would you give them when it comes to designing an international uh, national costume? I think your national costume should always have a message. Mm -hmm. And I think that message should be unique to you. Um, so <laughs> there's no point in kind of creating a blueprint. I think it's very important that you really think of what you want to do and how you want to represent South Africa. And um, once you're able to do that, then I feel that the costume speaks for itself. All right. Giselle, yeah. what are your responsibilities now as Miss Eco International? Miss Eco International is a woman that is a boy is for nature. So we need to have projects that is environmentally based. So that's definitely a big part. Mm -hmm. But what also drew me to Miss Eco is promoting tourism. And as I said, that's definitely a passion. So promoting tourism, but I want to do it with a little bit of 
of a twist and promote sustainable tourism and ecotourism a little bit more around the world. So I'm very excited to get started. But now tell me, you were standing on stage, the final mm -hmm. two, you and Miss Philippines. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what was going through your mind oh, this just before they made the announcement of the winner? This question, I can't actually answer it because I, it was something that felt so unreal. I'm sure you know. Yes. It, it's in that moment, there's nothing going on. And I know before the competition even started, I didn't want to be in my head too much. So mm. I just I just went on and enjoyed it. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think about what I prepped for because I know that I've done the work. So I just enjoyed it. So in that space, my mind was clear and I was like, well, <laughs> you know, let's see what happens. And it, it's still unreal. I don't think it's I, I, I've got to, I've got to just ask you because when they <laughs> announced your name, it. you were holding your mouth. Was it, was it, were you trying to close? <laughs> was something going to fall <laughs> out of your mouth? Or yeah, what? that's, well, for me, that's, Lady like to just oh, not yeah. <laughs> look as if I'm gonna swallow Miss Philippines. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it yeah. was it was surprising. Mm -hmm. But um, it you know you prep for going knowing yes. okay I am your title holder because mm -hmm. that's the mentality you have to go with mm -hmm. to stay mm -hmm. strong throughout the competition. I am your title holder. Mm -hmm. I am here for a reason. But still, in that moment, you're it's still mm -hmm. unexpected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Tofi, I mean, you're fifth year medicine now, right? Mm -hmm. How, how, what, what would you say to balance uh, being a title holder and studies? How, how do you do that? Wow. Uh, well, I think you actually figured there's no set plan. Um, you actually figure it out as you go. <laughs> but yeah. I think the most important thing is prioritizing. Um, I think you all, you, it's important that you have a list of things that you prioritize. And when you have a list of things that you prioritize, things have been easier because you actually cut out a lot of things that are not important. And I think in that way, it's a lot easier to actually balance the two things. I think pageants are amazing. I think there's so much that people actually don't know about pageants, so much that pageants do for women. And that was a priority to me. So I do think that pageant and school they're both very important and I was able to do both of them. So I was just about to ask you you know how did Miss Regal International South Africa impact your life in a positive way? Wow <laughs> so Miss Regal International was amazing I even still you know two years after anybody who wants to enter I'm still like go for it go for it go for it um it it impacted my life I think it really I've always had dreams I've always had aspirations, but Miss Regal almost gives you that platform to really go for what you've always been thinking about, but you've never actually done. So I know that I was very passionate about women abuse, and Miss Regal actually is very well affiliated with Power, you know, and that was really amazing working alongside with Power and really just seeing what women go through what women abuse actually is and what one can do to help. Um, so that was very, very important. And I just think that pageants are important in the sense that they have purpose. And women abuse is important. It's very important. And Miss Regal just almost allowed me to explore that and to see what it's about. Now, on a, on a little bit of a lighter note, what I need to ask both of you, ladies, how did you pack your suitcase? <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to start first with you. <laughs> because, I mean, there, wow. there are issues with overweight. Yes. How did you get, uh, how much mm -hmm. uh, were you overweight? Well, we, my mother, luckily, is very well planned, very, very organized. So I'm very blessed with her <laughs> doing that for me. But okay. yes, uh, we weren't overweight, luckily, due to the planning. But we did have to pay a very large amount for extra suitcases because it is three weeks. The pageant mm. is Eco International, not like others are. It's three weeks. So you, you need you need a couple of outfits. You do. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that, that was my... And tell me, Toby, when you went to China... Oh, I packed so much because I knew <laughs> South Africa is so far away. If you mm. leave anything, 
that's it. <laughs> but so, not just not just like sorry, but yes. outfits. But did you take snacks? I Very took snacks. food. Yes, I think it was, <laughs> I took <laughs> lots of food. I actually um, yep. yeah. there's um, this mm-hmm. thing called gari. Yeah. Uh, it's actually Nigerian, oh. and it's very it's like cassava. You take it with, you put water inside, and then you drink it. And wow. I took a lot of that because I was like, oh my gosh, um, I, I'm very specific with food. Okay. Um, so as much as I was like, you know, I want to explore, I was like, okay. Um, yep, some I, I, need, I need to get, I need to eat something that's actually familiar. Mm-hmm. So that was nice. I took the food to help me buy, yeah. to help me get by. And I actually have, I found a new love for fish. Because um, oh. Jinan City is very coastal. Mm. Um, so they served a lot of fish. There was a lot of fish. <laughs> um, so the fish and the gari, good. was good. Good, yeah. But now tell me quickly, um, what, what, what advice would you give to a young lady that is looking at entering a pageant like Miss Eco International South Africa or Miss Regal International South Africa? Mm. Let's start with you, uh, Giselle. For me, I think we spoke about this earlier and you made a very good point is to know yourself very well. And you're going to need that from the moment that you get there. You're going to see surprises from all over the world. These girls have trained for years, just like yourself. So it's as a human, you're going to be intimidated at times or at a specific time, even though you're comfortable in your own skin, you're confident, it's human. So you have to have that anchor to go back to and remember why you're here, why you're doing the things that you're doing and have that strong sense of self. Mm -hmm. So I think you're right. I think um, Wayne, you have always been so supportive. So it was always nice to call and say, oh, Wayne, you know, I, this is happening. I need help. Help me. Um, so I think it's it's very important to have support. Yeah. So make sure that you have people that ground you, um, that keep you, kind of ground you and remind you who you are. Um, but I do think that when you go and you compete with girls, it's it's very important that you know yourself you need to understand your strengths you need to know your weaknesses and you almost need to be okay with that you know Um, because there's a lot of there's a lot of room for comparison if you allow that there are girls who are so much taller you know so much um prettier so much smarter there'll always be somebody that you feel oh my gosh you know i remember when i went to china they all had these massive earrings they all had these (laughs) massive earrings and these very high these heels that were just so high Mm -hmm. you know and i always felt like it was just strange to me i was just Mm. like wow all of this is so different um but i think just understanding who you are and capitalizing on your strengths is important i think you will be fine And I think also working on yourself. Pageants aren't just something you enter. You decide and you enter. I almost feel like it's a platform where opportunity um, meets preparation. You know, you need to prepare. You need to know about your country if you're representing South Africa. You, you, You know, you need to know. You need to, you are an ambassador. So that is something that you you need to carry that proudly on your shoulders and, you know, express that when you go overseas. Mm, Definitely. No, lovely ladies. Well, I think there you've heard it from two ladies that have walked and talked the talk. Uh, Ladies, thank you so much. Well done again, Giselle. We're very proud of you. Topi, thank you for your words of uh, enlightenment on, you know, for someone that does want to go into the world of pageantry. And uh, from me, Wayne Stafford, until the next Queen Talk, take care.